So why are thyroids a problem so prevalent in women? Yeah, so that's a fantastic question. I wish I had a great answer for you. It's been an interest of mine and many others for decades. Right. So women in general have three times the incidence of thyroid disease as men. Reason is not clear. They also have three times the likelihood of having a thyroid nodule and thyroid cancer compared right. to men. Wow. So we don't have a simple answer. It seems to say, well, it's a hormone related, it's estrogen or a lack of testosterone, but there are no data proving that. So the answer is we don't know. Now, with that being said, what about if, if a woman's trying to get pregnant? How does it affect if she has thyroid issues, whether it's a nodule or maybe even yeah. possibility of cancer, how does that affect your chances of getting pregnant? It's important. So too much thyroid hormone or too little thyroid hormone are both associated with infertility. And furthermore, once you become pregnant and you're now carrying a fetus, remember the fetus is seeing the hormone levels of the mother. So if the mother is hyperthyroid during pregnancy, Hyper. the fetus will also see those thyroid hormone levels and they will have profound effects upon the hormone growth of the child of the fetus as well. So controlling thyroid hormone levels during pregnancy or when someone's trying to get pregnant are very important. And the early phases of inf an infertility workup, checking the thyroid hormone levels is critical. If you have thyroid problems and let's uh, uh, during pregnancy, does that mean that your child will have a likelihood of thyroid problems in their lifetime? It means that the mother's thyroid hormone levels need to be controlled during right. pregnancy. She'll be at higher risk of spontaneous abortion, and it could also affect the gland of the child. So you do have to control right. the mother to help control the child. Yeah. Now we've mentioned the thyroid nodule, and we actually do have a, a biodigital to explain what these are and what we're seeing. So Dr. Udusman, I'll let you take the stage. What is the thyroid nodule? So in this case, in the right lobe of the thyroid gland, you see this nodule. A nodule is just a growth and abnormality. It's important to distinguish old nodules from thyroid cancers, mm -hmm. which is what concerns right. most people. The vast majority of thyroid nodules are not cancers. They're benign. And in fact, 15% of the U.S. population have thyroid nodules. So they're not all cancerous. The majority are not cancerous. The majority are not cancerous. So the question is, is how do you deal with a patient like this with a thyroid nodule to prove that they don't have a cancer and that they don't need surgery? These nodules can be followed for a lifetime. Right.